pushy nigga front, you can get slum. Douche five with a month, homicide is a must. Who can I trust? I don't know who I could trust. I don't know who finna boss. Don't give a fuck. Yo, what is up, guys? It is the Platinum J here. And this is a pre recording on my last Battle Royale draft. As you can see, we got Willie Mays. Give me a second. <laughs> but, um, so this is tips and tricks how to get the best Battle Royale draft. And a lot of you are thinking, it's simple, Jay, it's simple. It's the same method for the past years. No, it's not. Completely different. And some of you may say it's opposite. Because last year you would choose a bunch of guys in your bullpen. Not the same. Okay, it's not the same. You get more rounds this year. So I have my notebook here. And I've been sketching down so many different ways on to do what. And I've tried one particular way and it's worked out best for me. I have had the greatest drafts on just the best overall drafts so obviously you get three diamond rounds three gold rounds seven silvers eight bronzes and four commons to start off now on your bench you're gonna use two the you're gonna have two bronzes and three commons on your bench okay the reason being for that is those two bronzes that you pick you want them to be one-sided hitters so, for example, let's say a righty friend, Mil Reyes, who plays for the Padres, he hits lefties with, I think, with 72 contact, 75 power. You want guys like that on your bench. One who can hit righties, one who can le hit lefties. Out of those commons, you're going to want some guys that have speed, just in case you want a pinch run or defense. There's commons in the game who have speed. You'll run into them in the draft. So as we go through bench, that's what you use on your bench. Now, all of a sudden, you only have one common left and six bronzes left in your draft going back to my notebook and I'm telling you I've done maybe 10 20 different ways on how to do this draft in your bullpen which you have seven options for you're gonna use one common in your bullpen so you're done with your commons and for your what you're gonna to want to do is choose one diamond or gold in your bullpen one shut down just put them in the third inning or whenever you're in trouble and it's gone. So, for example, I like the 95 Rich Gossage. Um, I didn't choose him here because I got Willie Mays, of course. But that's the one diamond you use that's in your bullpen. So, say you choose a righty Rich Gossage. Then what you're going to want to do is use a silver on an opposite throwing, so lefty. And then you're going to pick four bronzes after that. Two lefties, two righties. So, you're pretty even in your bullpen. So that's your bullpen. You still have guys who can come throw out of there. Now your starting pitchers, you're going to want to choose three silvers and two bronzes. Make these two bronzes higher bronzes that can actually starting pitch. For example, like 73s. Um, I didn't do the greatest job here in this draft, but I'd say it's still a pretty stacked good draft. Uh, so two bronzes, like 72, 73 overalls that have good velocity. The pitches you want are sinkers, splitters. Um, I, I haven't used, I mean the slider, it's, it seems like it gets raked on so much. Splitter is a very nasty pitch. Sinker is a very nasty pitch. Uh, fastballs are of course really good in this game and changeup is a good way to mix it up and curveball is a good way to mix it up. Um, so guys with those pitches. And then you want to use your three silvers on top of those two bronzes that have high velocity, Ks per nine with those pitches on top of those two bronzes so that creates your five starting pitchers. So reason being for your starting pitchers over some in your bullpen is because so in your bullpen when your guys go in and they give up a couple hits they automatically lose stamina and what that what that's doing is their the PCI is getting bigger when they get tired so it makes so good opponents you face when you're playing battle royale you're playing to win the 12 and 0 you're not just playing to get a good draft and go three and two okay that's not your plan you want to get that 12 and 0 so when you get higher up playing I'm preparing you for when you get higher up there's no point of going on a 4 and 0 win streak if you're gonna lose the next two games I'm preparing you guys for when you get to that 10 and 0 spot when you get up there when you play good opponents when your relievers start getting tired. You may make a good pitch and when they're not tired and they, they barrel one up, get a hit. They may do that two times in a row when you play good opponents. Right after that happens, your reliever's gonna get tired and the PCI is only gonna get bigger. So you're gonna run through relievers like that. 
but with your starting pitchers, they have very high stamina. They're going to be able to last four or five innings because the, the battle royale, I remind you, it's times three. So when your starters are able to throw a complete game and barely get tired in the ninth, they're going to be able to pitch three full innings in battle royale. Okay? Now, I wouldn't recommend it. That's why you have some guys in your bullpen, but they're going to go strong through one or two innings. And likely, I'd say, if you're raking to where you get to your starter in the first inning, then good, take him out because you're obviously raking. You're obviously going to be up three, four to zero if you get to your starter in the first to half in the batting lineup. So obviously, take him out there because you're going to have cushion. But most likely, you're going to get through two innings with that starting pitcher and still have your diamond, your silver, and your two bronzes to prepare you, even if it's a tie game, while he's already used four of his bullpens bullpen pitchers um, after those starters your actual position players that's gonna leave you with two diamonds so you're gonna have eight position players two diamonds three golds and three silvers I don't know about you guys but that is a stacked lineup that is a stacked lineup um, overall this is the best draft logically I have seen all throughout YouTube and I'm surprised nobody's thought of this or brung this up especially because the reason being when you get to the higher players let's say you get that lefty on lefty matchup man you or you're a righty lefty right you're pitching you have to bring in a lefty from the bullpen he gets a hit uh, another lefty comes up he gets a hit so all of a sudden you're on first and second you know what I mean and your relievers already tired now you have to bring in a new reliever and you're already first and second with no outs. Situations like that are going to happen. But when you have your starting pitchers, they're not going to get tired. The PCI is not, not going to get bigger. You can leave them in there. And you're going to be able to go through that. So, Also another bonus of having the starting pitchers. A lot of guys still revert to the old method. Which I still do this in my lineup because I see I know a lot of people pick common starting pitchers. They're going to revert to the old method where uh, they're going to put their best player first. But when you have a good starting pitcher on the mound, you're going to be able to get him out. Um, overall, this is a very good draft. Uh, it's a very good way to draft. Um, and I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment for what videos you want to see next. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Peace.